major call out this morning. Got a whacker plate gone down. Right, this whacker plate lot. See, we don't just stick to the commercial side, do we? We have to do everything. The accelerator cable snapped in there. Look, look cable's not doing out. So it looks like it mounts on them little screw there and a little screw there. So we need the little spanners out for this little job. And they are little, look, little nut there and little nut there and that there and then that there. Yeah, I did that accelerator cable. Fuck it, yeah, it was just them few grub screws. I couldn't record it because my hands were that freaking cold. Oh, honestly, my hands in the winter, they absolutely sting. Slightest temperature change, freaking out with pain. Bad circulation, that is, I think, innit? Gotta go and put this now. This some pads on a, uh, on a trailer. SAF factor, I think it's on. So, fuck that, I'm in a workshop. Freaking hell, it's got the heater on and all, it's nice and warm. Five hundred cheese of disc and pads on this trailer. It's on SF axles. It's on held exer calipers. <laughs> easy to do. Well, easy to do. One of the easiest brake pads to change as well. I'll show you how you do it. You just need a screwdriver, hit the clip in, wind the brake off, jump the gun. So I'll show you how you do that. Yep. Get me tools. Right, you see that there, look, there's the brakes, there's the brake pads, there and there. See that nickel clippy there? You just push that in and then slide that out. We've got to wind the brake off first. And the brake winder is, it is there, look, it's meant to have a, a rubber, a rubber bung in it normally. Boy, it's missing obviously, so I'm going to put it in. So it's there and it's an Allen key. But I'm using a Torx because I can't find the right Allen key socket. So, and then you just wind it off and it winds the piston back, that piston there. It'll wind that piston in. Right, so I'm just going to wind it now. I'll wind it off, you'll see the piston winding back. Right, wind it back until you can't wind no more. And that's fully wound off now. Now we're gonna push this in and pull that out. Right, yeah, so we're gonna push that clip in there and then pull that out. I'm gonna try and do this one-handed so I still ain't got a fucking phone holder. See that? Obviously, if you've got two hands on the job, it's a lot easier. Right, now what we're gonna do is remove this brake chamber here with these two nuts here and here. Leave the pipes on. Just remove that and push that back so that's out of the way. There goes Terry the door. Right, now that chamber's out of the way. We're gonna take out these bolts here, here. There's one, one there, one there, and there's two at the bottom as well. These are 24 mil multi-spline. So what I use is just a 24 mil spanner to crack them off with and hit it with a hammer. You can use a power bar or whatever. But I just find it easy just with a spanner and a hammer. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good point. You know if you're hitting a spanner, if you hit it at the end here, you get no fucking leverage on it whatsoever. It just like vibrates the spanner. So it's best if you hit it about halfway down the spanner. You get less, uh, you get more, more impact. Good job I ain't got a snap on spanners, isn't it? Ooh. Do you reckon the warranty it's still real, the hammer marks in it? <laughs> well, that's the bolt lock with a shoulder on it. Got a shoulder on it. The only, there's only one bolt with a shoulder on it. It's to centre the, the caliper. So that can either go right at the bottom bolt or right at the top bolt. That's the only two places that'll fit. So if you try and cram it in one of the other holes, You'll be pissed in the wind because it don't fit in the recess in the caliper. So bear that in mind. Because I've done it before. Struggle light like foot's going to then realise, well fuck me, it's because the inside of the caliper hasn't got the shoulder in insert in it. That fits in this bolt. Remove 
movie cap. A little recess in it out of the way, that's our first hit screwdriver in it. Make sure the seal's on it, like O rig, O rig one round it. Right, very important this on these SF axles. This 85mm nut, obviously this hasn't been off before, look, from the manufacturer, it's still got the silicon on it. Right, but if you, this is this is on the near side, so it's left hand thread on this, so on is off, yeah? On the off side, off is off. But on the near side, it's left hand thread. So on is off. And if it's tight, I'm gonna get the impact gun on this, but I'm not gonna go mad with it, because if it's tight, which some of them do get real fucking tight on, never ever warm this nut up. Whatever you do, don't warm it up. So I know no end of lads that have warm this nut up, and then all it does is strip these fine threads off the stub of the axle, and then the axle's fucking basically fucked. Well, there is a reconditioner that can redo your threads, but still, fuck, it's a nightmare. I've known no end of people do it at all. Warm the fucking nut up and then strip all the threads off in here. So if you do get a seized nut, what the cheapest and quickest option to do is get another new nut and drill here, look, dot punch it there. Like get a six mil fucking drill bit, dot punch it there, drill through there, all the way down to the bearing, and then dot punch a line all the way up it there, and drill all the way up it, and get your chisel in, and then make a fucking wedge with your chisel and hammer it in and it'll split the nut apart like that. And if it still doesn't, like still a bit fucking tight, which it is sometimes, I've had to do it sometimes twice, like opposite one another. And then you just chisel the fucking nut off. So whatever you do, do not warm it up. Bad idea. and then simply remove your hood, unless it's seized on the stuff. Now we've got to remove these studs here, look. I know you may not see them very good, you may think, fricky, look at the state of them, how are you going to get them off? Uh, but if normally, if you get a multi-spine socket, I think it's 13 mil. Yeah, it is 13 mil. Uh, and hammer it on, and hammer it and then it should just crack off but if it's got a bit of play in the socket use an half inch socket because it's a bit smaller half inches than 13 mil because as you see all this corrosion around here it sometimes reduces the size of the actual of the actual uh, nut well bolt bolt head always need to replace these bolts as well for new ones. So all the new bolts if you're doing this. Now you don't want to do that, this ain't got ABS to it, but you don't want to damage this. It's exciting. There's an O-ring in here, look, as well. There, look. Right, get the new disc. Put it on, get your new bolts, put some thread lock on your new bolts, tighten them up, put your new disc on, looks facing up with rock. Tighten them up, opposites. Got no gaps in it, or you ain't got a pistol And then we've got to bar it up there. In your new uh, bolt kit, you should get a new O ring as well for the hub, for the inner of the hub here. So just get a bit of grease, pull it round it, and then put your O ring in, your new O ring in. But when you lift the hub back on, uh, the stub, just make sure that you don't move this O ring. Make sure it's not. It don't hit on here, then go pissed up, and then you trap it. Well, if it's on there.
lift the calibre back up, calibre bolts, chamber. Look, there are them recesses in the calibre lock. Not oh, that one, look, you can't fit your bolt in. But the top and the bottom one, you can. The bolt with the chamfer on it. I always stop that bolt at the top. Refit your chamber. Oh, on the caliper here, look. See them two pegs? There and there. In your brake pads, your new brake pads, you've got the same on both brake pads, so you can't get it wrong, like. Get your new clip. These are such a good design. Look how easy they are. Look how Push that in, look, and that little clip there will come out, look. That's what secures it there, look. So it's impossible, it'll never come out. Good design, isn't it? I like it. And then we adjust the brake up. All the way on, check it. And then off two clicks. One click, two clicks. Make sure you've got no play in your bearing or it like that. Beautiful. Uh, and then we've got to put the little, put the little bung in, in where your adjuster is. Refit your cap. And that's it, you've done it. Repeat that five more times. You've done the full trick, right? Yeah. Lovely job. See you on the next one, guys. The boys in the NYPD choir are singing girl with me And the bells are ringing out for Christmas Day <laughs> I saw Sandy Claus! I love Sandy Claus! <laughs> Sandy Claus!